When I ask women of these photographs, the women in these photographs, which is your favorite photograph, they will all choose this one. It's sheer joy. The rest of the stuff, they've been there, they've done that. Right? This is joy. This is a cycling training camp in Pudukote, Tamil Nadu during the literacy movement. 180,000 women came to the camps and learned how to cycle in a very short period of time. And this, it became, the literacy movement became successful because of the cycling movement. It gave women a tremendous sense of freedom. You'll find the story in my book. It's called Where There Is a Wheel. It's in the book Everybody Loves a Good Drought. Now, look at all of them have dressed up in their very best saris to come and learn cycling. Okay, that lady is wearing her very best sari. And look at the activist, she's wearing a beautiful sari. Huh? Like a yeah, this is one of the greatest activists of South Tamil Nadu, Kannamal. She's one of the great literacy activists, one of the great union organizers. See, the woman who used to, uh, say, carry small produce, most of them are small producers. You're carrying small produce to the market. You need brother, father, husband or son to come and help you load it on top of the bus, right? Or to come and unload it when you've come from somewhere. None of that is now required. You put the baby in the front, you put the produce at the back and you zip off on your cycle, you're able to cover more markets in a day than the single one that you used to go to because you're mobile. Hmm? So cycling actually made a gigantic economic difference to these families, to these women, but it also meant much more to them personally than economically, that, that sense of being free and liberated. Taking the literacy mission to the quarry workers of Pudukote. This is a cave. It's a cave inside a quarry where those women who are granite stone breakers, you saw one of them, 14 years old. Hmm. They are learning to read and write. And that girl is reading out what is a special supplement brought out by a newspaper for neoliterates. Look what a young girl is reading it. She's also around 14, 15. Kannamal is the literacy activist. All those women will recite, learn, sing songs, read poetry, and all of them are literate now. That was the first elected full women's panchayat in the country, uh, Rama Panchayat in Madhya Pradesh, Jabua, Jabua. But the reason why it was the f first full women's panchayat was not particularly progressive or endearing. Because of the new, that time, 93-94, with the coming of the Panchayati Raj Acts and the you know, 73rd, 74th Amendment, there were reservations for women there were reservations for uh, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, and, you know, across that. When the election was held, it would have meant that there would have been a majority of women in the panchayat anyway. The men in the village didn't like that. They didn't like the humiliation in their eyes of sitting down in a panchayat where the women were the majority and the dominant majority. So what did the men do? They stepped out and sent their wives in their place and it became an all-woman panchayat. Mm -hmm. hmm? So that's how the first all-woman panchayat came because the male ego did not, would not allow them to sit sit there in a minority amongst the women of the village. You know, there's a reason why I sign off with this photograph. There's a lesson for me, a memory for me, which I never take a picture without the consent of that person, whether it's a woman or a man. This is the one exception. I was sitting in her family's home in Malkangiri, in the Koraput region. She had gone out to, I think, she had been working most of the day and she had gone out to wash those dishes at the hand pump. I didn't know that. I, did. I walked into her 
home, into the compound of her home, and I was sitting with her parents and others, and we were chatting. Then this little thing came home and enters her home to find a stranger with cameras, tape recorders, light stands, tripods, all sorts of things hanging about him. Right? She's very tired. She's very, very tired. But she's also fascinated by who's this in my house? Right? And she's so tired, she falls asleep standing. At that point, I couldn't resist it. Hmm? I clicked the photograph. When I clicked the photograph, her parents, her brother, others in the house, they all laughed loudly. She knew that something had happened, that somebody had done something at her expense, yeah? And, and, she knew I was the villain. So she gave me such a look, a real put down. You know, look at the anger, the eyes on the verge of tears. So I photographed her when she was falling asleep standing. She did not know what had happened. She did not know who had done what. But she knew that everybody was laughing at her expense and that I was the guy responsible. So I got that look. I have never got such a look of anger from such a tiny creature ever. Right? So this is the full stop to the... It's someone becoming conscious of their rights and their dignity. It's the full stop to the exhibition.